happy birthday to my awesome replay viewers happy birthday to you watching this i know it's not probably your real birthday unless you happen to be one of the seven people whose actual birthdays it is that i've tagged in here and in which case happy birthday to you linda carissa james harry sarah sarah uh, alex and of course john um Yes, every day is your birthday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Isn't it wonderful to be alive today? Yes, you're watching this, you're alive. You have a piece of device in your hand that allows you to connect with the world. Um, several people on my birthday list are from America, oh, well, from around the world, um, from London and so forth, uh, all over the place. Isn't it fantastic? What a fantastic time to be alive, as my friend Nick James would say. Uh, one of fant I'm not sure that is the exact line he uses, but it's something like that anyway. Um, so that's why we celebrate every day uh, as if it is our birthday um, because it is the first day of the rest of our lives. Why wait um, to enjoy the life you love? Why not start today enjoying the life you love? Um, that's the way we want to look forward to it. So obviously uh, anybody who does catch me live in a minute, nobody's on li live yet, will notice that uh, I'm a little bit late today. Mm. It's another one of those days I'm afraid. Talked about this yesterday. Yesterday it was the uh, Buffalo Bills game that I'd recorded overnight um, that I thought might be... Uh, uh, that I thought I'd watch a little bit of, uh, excuse me, um, before I came out for my run, and then I got caught up in watching the whole game all the way through. Um, and today it was the um, the speech by the, uh, <laughs> I was going to say the new president-elect, I was like the president-elect again for the, like the, the 50th time over the last month. Um, hello, Teresa, um, happy birthday to you, and Giuletto, happy birthday for you for yesterday. <laughs> um, Yes, you have to watch the beginning bit, Teresa, to understand why I'm calling, saying happy birthday to you, even though it's probably not your actual birthday today. Um, so, yes, I watched um, the president-elect Biden last night. Uh, well, I recorded it, and then I watched it this morning. I thought, I'm just going to watch that bit of the speech, because it's usually quite a quick one. Um, and then I got wrapped up in all the commentary afterwards. Sorry, the phone just fell down. Um, uh, and I got wrapped up in all the commentary afterwards, and so that's why I'm late now. But it did bring us back to a point that I made yesterday on my talk yesterday about habits. Um, uh, and to a certain extent, um, uh, addictions. Uh, I have an addiction to TV, for example, which was manifest today. Um, and uh, I'm going to wave you both, even if I'm not sure if you're both still here or not. But uh, um, yes, yeah, so I have a bit of an addiction to TV, which I am trying to break. Um, trying being the operative word here. <laughs> I am on some levels succeeding and I'm definitely getting better every day um, but like everything um, and actually even though I would say with this with um, with people who are trying to break addictions where the the source of the addiction we talked about habits a couple of uh, sessions ago where we talked about how you have a trigger you have t car is it trigger um, craving uh, action and result um, and uh, the trigger is, the, is the, often the problem thing when the trigger is always there in front of you. Um, so if, you, if, you, if you're a smoker and you're trying to give up smoking, obviously you need to get rid of all the cigarettes in your house. If you're an alcoholic and you're trying to get rid of alcohol, you get rid of all the alcohol in front of you. So it's not just tempting on a, on a daily basis to be in front of you. Food, make sure you haven't got unhealthy snacks. Have healthy snacks in the fridge instead of unhealthy snacks in the fridge. All that kind of stuff to take away that trigger, that temptation. Um, could, 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 could just be temptation at the beginning there, but it's a trigger. Um, uh, and of course, for me, uh, it's tricky because the TV is like always there. Um, I live with my mum and dad at the moment and the TV is always on in the house. That's not necessarily a bad thing for them. I'm just saying that it's there. It's a temptation that's hard to remove. Um, there was a friend of mine was talking about how they, they pick the cuticles on their thumbs um, quite a lot. And I used to do that. I still do a little bit, uh, but I always carry nail clippers with me now everywhere I go. So that if I ever do find false about to clip something i just get the nail clippers out clip it off and neat and tidy so it doesn't become messy and uh, and painful um, but again it's hard to get rid of your nails if you're a nail biter it's hard to overcome the temptation because they're right there all the time it's hard to, you can't just get rid of them can you so um anyway <laughs> i've got off on one there a little bit but um uh, you'll get the idea um so tv is there and it's kind of addictive so i have this little thing that i put in front of my tv um, which tries to stop me watching it um, and this morning I thought to myself I'll just watch Bill Biden's thing and then I'll put my thing up over the TV to stop me watching it during the morning which is what I normally do um, <laughs> but I got tempted and I got into it and what a lovely speech it was too um, I mean admittedly there was a little bit he finally let out some of that uh, frustration with uh, Donald Trump's uh, attempts to overcome the uh, election um, I actually looked up the other day because a lot of people have been calling it a coup and I was like mm, I'm not sure about coup because it sounds like a violent thing and yeah sure enough a coup is um, a violent thing but then I looked up coup d'etat which is a uh, uh, the French expression which is actually overthrow of the state um, or con taking control of the state um, which is much more right so actually coup d'etat would be a much more uh, valid one sorry about the helicopter overhead um, 
distance. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's probably. We have a police helicopter every so often. This is a not the greatest area of the town I live in. Um, this area here, and sometimes we do have police helicopters <laughs> overhead. Um, and uh, although the bit I live in, which is over there, which is a little bit smarter area of the town. Um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, frustrations. Oh, coup d'état. I was talking about, wasn't I? Um, and but what he did talk about it was coming together is bringing everybody together. It's like, okay, now now finally we can move on. Maybe now now that we've had the elector votes coming on. And incidentally, it was quite interesting because, of course, I look back at last year, uh, in 2016, and Donald Trump actually only got 304 electoral votes in the actual vote um, on in December of last year, uh, whereas this time Joe Biden actually got 306. So he actually got more votes than Donald Trump did last time around uh, because they were what you think called faithless uh, electors. Oh, it's, a, it's a complicated story about the American election system. It is fun, though. It's fun to watch. Uh, and there is a really cool um, YouTube video that uh, they might, the, the band They Might Be Giants actually uh, produced. I'll try and remember to put the link in the, uh, in the comments or, or in the description. But, um, yeah, so he was talking about coming together after this. Now, maybe finally, now that we've had the electors do their electoral votes, they've still got a confirmation process that Joe Biden presided over last in 2016, um, which now Mike Pence has to do on January the 6th, and then the finally the uh, uh, the inauguration on the 20th of December of 20th of January. I know if you're a UK person, this is no interest to you, but I have American friends all over <laughs> and friends all over the world who like this kind of stuff. Well, not this kind of stuff, but you know, who for whom this might be an interesting topic of, of interest anyway um so yes so it's all about coming together that's what i wanted to try and topic of today which is um trying to find a way of um creating bi uh, connections between people uh, going forward oh by the way my um johnvdenny.com forward slash morning there's, there's a problem with the, the plugin and the, the videos on that page are not updating every day which is a little bit frustrating for me um, which is why I haven't been commenting on the videos for a while I thought it was just because Evan Carmichael was doing Date With Destiny with uh, Tony Robbins last week um, but it turns out um, the videos just haven't been updating either um, I don't know whether he's been updating I have no idea because I wasn't paying attention um, the Blinkist book of the day today really interesting it's called um, uh, pleasure activism, I think it's called, or something like that, um, or joy activism. Sorry, I can't remember what it's exactly the name of it, but it, uh, it's really cool, really interesting about learning how to explore your pleasures and create pleasure, and but create pleasure amongst people as well, and not just for yourself. Um, and I thought it was a lovely idea as well, um, and which is obviously what I do because I send love to everybody. I say happy birthday to you all. I wish you all the best every single day. Um, and uh, send love out into the world and I try and encourage my viewers to send love out into the world and understand other people's uh, perceptions of the world and, and, and have a bit more compassion to the people around you uh, so that you can love the people around you more and create more love in the world. That's what I want to do. That's my part of my mission statement is to... Uh, well, my, my main mission statement really is to fight, help people find freedom from depression and anxiety. But ultimately, it's also then about... So it's about loving yourself. That's what helps with that overcoming depression and anxiety and then helping you to expand that love and that burning find your fire is my website findyourfire.co.uk um, so but find those but those embers inside you and and give them a bit of oxygen and help them to burn and burn and burn brighter uh, and become that fire so you can find the fire inside yourself and then start loving the people around you a bit more um, and bring that fire into the world and help light other people's candles all the way around you uh, and make the world a better place that's my main mission statement so if you want to help me do that let me know and uh, you can right that's all from me for me that's my 10 minutes done uh, take care everybody sending my love out into the world happy birthday to all those people whose happy birthday it was and particularly happy birthday to john harris who is the uh, brother of my ex-girlfriend it feels weird to call her an ex-girlfriend since it was 1995 for when we went out but uh, there you go that's that take care guys have a fun and lovely tuesday bye for now